All right, so in this video, we'll be discussing how to create a subscription type of a funnel, basically where you can collect recurring payments from your customers. So any type of sales funnels that we've created previously to this video, you can actually make it a subscription as well by just having the product to be a recurring payment every week, month, year, however you want to structureize the payments. Uh, but in this uh, video particularly, we'll be looking into some of the specific uh, sales subscription type of funnels and we'll be looking into that as well uh, look into a pricing plan type of uh, page as well where you, people can actually select a different uh, subscription plan uh, so yeah we'll be looking into those type of things creating a recurring product and doing sub up sales as well so what is the the whole process again any uh, just a normal uh, sales funnel uh, we'll be also like I said looking into a uh, plan select type of a page as well check out uh, upsell and downsell and a thank you page where they can take another action as well so let's go inside the system and let's build our first subscription type of a funnel again for example in this previous funnel that we created for multi products uh, you can make any of the payments not to be one time but a subscription and basically create a subscription type of a funnel a product that is a subscription but uh, let's create a new funnel for our example. And when you create, and we have a different types of, as, as you know, different types of designs, and this is a subscription funnel with pricing plans. This is a subscription product, uh, subscription funnel with one product. So we'll be looking into those two. So let's start with the pricing plans. So let's go with subscription funnel with plans. And add the funnel to our list so it comes with a landing page which you can obviously fully modify for your product and uh, service whatever that is uh, so you can add some videos ratings catchy headlines you know the rest and how to make it uh, I hope already uh, a compelling page for your visitors the benefits of the product or service features about it video sections if it's specifically if it's some kind of a course or uh, maybe a, even a SaaS, uh, you can show the product, the video courses, some kind of a sneak peek preview. And again, really quick uh, get started button everywhere. Product features, obviously this image you have to replace with something relevant to your business. Uh, and you can add different services. Again, different pay, different blocks for, for services, uh, listing some of the features, um, you know, however you want to present the, the, the the features of the service testimonials as well and finishing uh, strong with another call to action so yeah have a lot of call to actions throughout your page so that people can easily go to the next step where they can in this case select a plan uh, so fully modify it then go to the next page which is the pricing is the is the plan selection so you have this page um, that you can uh, you can again fully modify you can set up your pricing you can modify it uh, plan name you can even add some images if you wish to make it more fun and you can list the features um, you can have them in the center if you wish if you don't like this layout and remove the uh, the dots uh, so you can list all these features that uh, you want your customers to uh, to focus on that specific product uh, benefits features whatever and have a subscribe or you know pick a plan uh, button that will actually again uh, how we how we do it we'll have to link it to one of your products that you have created and now we will be creating this type of a recurring uh, product um, like in this case we have some bonus features so that things that will push people to select the higher plan uh, so you can play around with the different pricing plans but 14 day money back guarantee it's kind of a must in this uh, type of a scenario live chat maybe if you provide a secure checkout and frequently ask questions asked questions that you can also add for example what happens if they want to cancel how do they cancel the refund stuff like that that a lot of people usually ask so you can answer those uh, most uh, asked questions uh, in this area as well so how do we create our first recurring subscription so you go to store and you go to products there you can click on add a product and you can select any of the four different types of products for each one of those you can make them a recurring payment 
Um, for example, this can be used for subscription, like every month, for example, which is the most used case. Or you can also do it on installments. Let's say that you're you know, selling a product that they have to pay instead of once, maybe um, three times for $50 instead of $150. Uh, this way, every week or every month or however, what is the cycle is, they can pay that amount only X amount of times. But for this example, let's just start with a service or our membership. Again, it doesn't matter which one you select. Uh, let's, okay, let's do with membership. Uh, for the membership, obviously, when they do a subscription, when they pay, they'll get access for as long as they're a subscriber. Uh, if it is a service, you can just give them access to nothing, but they are paying for a specific service that you might be providing offline or um, however you want to manage your, your subscription in general. Uh, so you can add some name to it, let's say subscription, select some kind of a membership group just for the sake of the example, and you can set up a price. So this price is what you'll be charging on every installment you can say. So let's say $20. And how do you make this a subscription? Um, so you click on this subscription product. And basically here you select how on what kind of a cycle you want to charge them. How many times basically. If it is a normal subscription for as long as the user is uh, wants to pay, you just leave it as ongoing payment. If you want to make it like three installments, so three payments by X amount of uh, you know money, uh, you just make it three payments. Uh, but yeah, for this example, we'll make it a one uh, every every month uh, and ongoing. So for years to come or for however you, they want to be subscribed, they can uh, they will be uh, charged every month. So you can select here that the cycle every how many months or weeks. So if you want to do it yearly, you can make it 12 months. So they'll be charged every 12 months. Uh, so yeah, this is the monthly subscription. And it's going to be for $20 for a membership product in this case. But again, if it's a service, if it's a physical product, it doesn't matter. You can make any of them to be a subscription. Just selecting a category. And just like that, our product is created. And as you can see, it's membership at the bottom. So now, how do we start selling this product that we just created? You just go to your pricing page again, the plan page, and to this button, you just link the product that we just created. Just go to the link, click on store, and select the product, which is subscription. And all you have to do is either add to cart and go to the next step, or just buy now. Click on select and save changes. So you have to do that for, again, for this and this plan as well. If you have three plans, of course, you can leave two plans or just leave it as one. How many plans do you want to have? And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. After that, you go to the checkout where you can person would be you know paying for their uh, subscription. So in this case, because we have three different plans and we don't know which one they will be selecting. So we'll select the option to be not a product select, not a predefined product, but a cart checkout. So whatever product is being added to the cart, basically when they click on the button, uh, they will go directly here and they can subscribe to that plan. Click on save changes and that's it. Our funnel is ready to go. And then of course we have the thank you page. Thank you for your subscription. And in this case, we have a call to action. So if it's a membership, you can just link this button to the membership area where they can get access to their videos and whatever type of information they subscribe for. And here we've added a manage my subscription, a link to their profile they can, where they can cancel their subscription at any point if they desire. And also get access to their membership area too, if they have such access. So for the sake of the example, if you're doing a membership, uh, we can link some kind of a page to the membership to where they would go after they um, no, get access to it. So just like that, we've added for the basic member a link to landing page. So they will have this link in their profile as well, so they can get access to that page. But we'll be looking into membership in the next video, where we'll be discussing everything about membership and how to create and sell access to whatever. Uh, videos, tutorials, anything that you want to give access to your customers. All right, so what's left is actually to connect a payment processor because we currently don't charge, there is no way to, for us to charge them. 
and how to do that is going to settings in the store payments and as you can see we don't have any, pay any payment provider just added yet so click on add payment provider and you can see the different options that you have from payment processors that you can connect to your funnel in this case we'll be using stripe so we just add stripe and we have to add our publishable key and secret key so let's add those all right so we've added our stripe keys now it's time to start uh, testing our funnel so how do we do that so we just preview our funnel and we can start with the whole process so we see the page of where we'll be selling you know promoting our services and when they click on the button they'll go to the plan select so they can select one of the plans to get started they can see and see some questions they might have and uh, in this case we connected only a product to this one and when you click on it you add the product and automatically go to the subscription so now here as you can see they'll see how much they're going to be paying 12 20 dollars a month and here obviously they can add their information so we can add some name some email some password because when you do a subscription it always requires to create an account so that they, they can easily manage their subscription inside their profiles so we add some information and this is the test trap key that we've added and by completing an order that will submit the payment and it will go directly to our thank you page where we can take another action whatever let's send them to membership area for example or we can they can manage their subscription from this link for later on of course they will receive a, a link to access their profile as well and access to their membership area if it is a membership type of a product if it is uh, you know, any type of different product obviously they will receive another email for that too and if they click on manage subscription they will get into the subscription this is the profile of a user so they can see their subscriptions as in this case we have a product which is called subscription in this case now uh, for twenty dollars and it's saying when is the next subscription date which is six days from now i mean 30 days from now uh, of this test which is december 6th so as they have a membership as well they can also access it by clicking on this button and actually would go to the membership tab and anytime they can cancel their subscription and you can have as many different subscriptions as they want if they they want they can subscribe to something else and they will all be listed here and they can monitor them from their profiles from the membership area they can see access to all the different you know um, pages and and groups that they actually have access to in this case we have access to the page that we uh, selected in our CRM and you can also see the history of the products that they've bought the subscription in this case details about themselves addresses and so on but yeah the subscription they can manage from here and again if they click here they can go to the next page obviously this is a blank one without anything so when it is a membership type of area obviously you have to create your membership pages and link to those but we'll be looking again into that in our next video which is dedicated on membership creating membership areas courses videos and so on really really exciting video but yeah this is how simple it is to create a subscription product and how to sell it and actually how you can actually manage uh, the subscription itself from the profile uh, and here you can also see some statistics about that you can see the products uh, but you can also see in the sales section that you have this new tab uh, new actually not tab but the section which is about the subscriptions so when you sell subscriptions in a funnel you can see all that information here as well so you can see that you have one active subscriber how many have cancelled which is called churn so how many people have cancelled their subscription and what is your current MRR so how much is your monthly recurring revenue from all the people subscribe to your funnel so really cool and nice statistics that you can check out for your subscribe subscribers and subscriptions and yeah this is about having different you know plans so let's create a new funnel which is about one product just as, just an example so we have this again another funnel meant mainly for a subscription and let's call it subscription with one product 
Basically, it is the same idea as any other sales funnel, but it is, in this case, about one product. That can be anything, again, it can be access to something, to videos, to just subscribing for a service that you might be providing even offline, uh, maybe a gym, a membership for a gym, let's say $50, $47 a month. So it can be used for anything. So you can incorporate in any type of a, of a funnel that you have. In this case, we have a headline, you know, some benefits, um, a video even, uh, and an easy, basically, uh, an overview of what they'll be getting after they uh, subscribe to, to the service. So you can have different sections about the product, testimonials, again, another video, and again, a call to action. So you can fully modify, of course, any of that uh, the way you want to make sure that uh, the information is relevant. You can split test, don't forget to split test. I always like to, uh, to say that. Split test your pages to see what might be working best for your uh, onboarding. And then when they click on the get started, they'll go to a checkout where it is a simple checkout again about the product, some testimonials you can add as well, and a way to actually buy the product. In this case, when we have one uh, subscription one product that they will be getting uh, you can pre-select the product so basically pre-select the product that uh, you'll create in this case we haven't created any but again go to store yes go and create a product uh, again digital product physical service whatever it is let's say a service in this case and again make it a subscription recurring for whatever period you want it to be and this way you just link it to the uh, checkout section so that when somebody selects a product they will be subscribing to yeah for that for that product that you selected in this case just we selected a non non recurring payment um, and again a thank you page where the user can get again go to another page um, if, if or to another place another funnel maybe another website to get access to something if, if they purchase access to something um, and this is it. Again, this is uh, just a simple one uh, product subscription with a beautiful landing page where they can learn a lot about what they're purchasing and subscribing. Again, the, the management of the whole subscription happens um, in their profile, which they'll get access to via email. But again, you can give them access as well uh, on, the, on the thank you page uh, too. Uh, actually, the, the link to that is... Um, when you add a link, for example, here, you can just add it as a uh, membership, members, subscript, member subscription. This is where they actually get access to their membership area. Uh, I guess we can add some kind of a, a pre-selected way to add that so you don't have to type it in as an external URL every time. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is just to, to be able to manage from here as well. And that's it. This is how simple it is to create a subscription product and a subscription type of a funnel. Again, all the funnels that we already created, they can be transformed to be each of the product to be a, a recurring payment, a subscription. And from their profiles, all the users can manage everything about, you know, the subscriptions, the memberships and so on. Again, in the next video, very exciting, we'll be discussing about memberships. So how you can create Again, a membership can be one-time payment or recurring, as in this case, uh, with access to some kind of content. Uh, you can create a whole areas with, with dashboards, um, with access to uh, video tutorials or uh, educational materials of any sort, or whatever type of access you want to give them as, uh, maybe even uh, some kind of a file repository with different links to different files. So, very exciting next uh, series. Actually, there will be a few videos there about all these things because there is a lot of cover about memberships so i hope that you enjoyed this video about creating subscriptions how to manage them and uh, you know multiple product subscriptions and one product subscriptions and yeah talk to you in the next video and again if you have any questions don't hesitate and let us know